can actually call the quick times itself from three different areas within the package. If you're in the balance, you would go to the toolbox, and here's a quick times methods analysis and estimating, and it opens it up. You can also call it from the video timer pro right here. Again, toolbox, quick times methods and estimating, it opens it up. And you can also call it from the um, main menu of the um, of the quick times itself in Excel, quick times methods and analysis and estimating right here, and it opens up. Okay. Um, now you can run in English or metric. The default is to run in English, i.e., working with uh, inches and pounds. And you can see the current setting if you go to utilities, unit of measure. You can see it set to English. So if I call the quick times from here. You can see, I can say, um, it's going to get something. It's so many inches away. Right? So let's say it's get a jumble part 18 inches away. And the value there is 1.08. Right? So if we close out of this guy, if we want to do the same thing in metric, we can come in here. Unit of measure, just switch the unit of measure. And this will be hold between all your sessions here. Switch it to metric. Double click again. Get it so many centimeters away here. You can click on it here. And here's the higher value and it's still the same time 1.08 seconds so the time value is the same but in this case you're using centimeters rather than using the met English also if you're using the uh, metric version if you let's say you place a part and it's a heavy object you can see here it says it's in kilograms it's working in so rather than pounds it's going to be in kilograms so again it's very straightforward to decide whether you want to work in English or metric units you come into the utilities click on unit of measure and set it for to your preferred uh, you know measure the default being english